got another tractor video for you and before I get started I may as well mention this one since I don't have a video of it on my channel got this off the side of the road um, about a month or two ago uh, it's just a Pull-Am Pro and the stamp on it says it's from 2005 got a Quantum Series brakes and Stratton on it and when I got it it had this mess of a muffler on there What I guess is the uh, blade got so bent and I took the blade off, but um, I think the guy started running over rocks and stuff or whatever, but the blades got so out of balance that it must have been shaking this engine pretty bad. Probably shook it so hard that it rattled the muffler loose and eventually broke, so in the trash it went. Um, so I need to get a new muffler for it, and the spark plug is actually very clean so it's not burning oil. I consider keeping it for myself. I might just do that or I'll just sell it for however much. It also appears to have an oil leak coming from the sump cover. I power washed this side of the engine and then there it is. Or yeah, coming from the sump gasket I mean. So muffler, sump gasket, blade, this thing should be good to go. Got the same same deck as my Honda powered one over here. They were built about the same time. I think this one's from 2002. I like mine better though. It's got the better uh, padded grip and the flat bar here and the Honda engine and ball bearing wheels and the side discharge which I don't have. But anyways, I brought you out here today so you can check out my paint job on the hood. I did that over the summer. Um, it could have it could have been done a lot better because you can see in the camera how there's streaks because I didn't do up and down. I didn't do it evenly or properly. So this thing will probably be getting a repaint next summer if I'm home. I'm going to be heading off to, heading upstate to go to school for, be trained as an automotive technician. But enough of that. I'm here to change the oil. Since this thing is going to be put to work, and you can see with the plow, or the plow attachment actually, just the mounting bracket uh, right now. The plow is in the shed. Bought it brand new and I got a good deal on it Labor Day. Um, and yes, the brand new ones will fit the 80s chassis like this one. Pretty much everything from the, the mid 80s to now it will fit as long as it's AYP, Roper, or uh, Husqvarna built. The MTD ones are a little bit different, but I think it fits those too. Um, however, I did have to notch out a piece here for the to clear the muffler because it's got one of those big canister ones instead of the ones that come out the front. But I'm not worried because this stuff is uh, it's actually thicker than the stuff used to make the frame of the tractor. So, but yeah, this thing is pretty much ready for winter. Just one more step, or two more steps actually, to get some tire chains and to change the oil out to 5w30 for winter grade which I'm going to be doing now there we go So while that's draining out, this is what I meant to do, let it drain out and then talk about the update. The hood, the entire hood's been repainted except for the headlight housings. I haven't really worried about them. Um, I spent a long time doing this, spent pretty much the other, the latter half of the summer doing it from August to, I believe, the, pretty much the end of September. And it hasn't really paid off all that well because you can see all the streaks. I did this wrong. I should have done it the same way I did the fenders, which is going both ways. I don't know why I didn't do that. Um, and then I clear coated it, and what I did differently this time was because spray paint likes to leave a lot of um, a lot of orange peel and such, and really rough paint sanded it down and, and compounded it so it, you can see the reflection from this angle anyway. I haven't done it perfect. 
and sadly the paint does not match up with my decal here which is see-through if I was professional enough to uh, to stick on masking tape and cut out each and every one of these stripes and the logo and such then I would just paint it all on and then clear over it but I'd rather wait till uh, so I can test that on something else maybe the guinea pig over here the engines running okay but the engines really the next thing I want to take care of when I get done putting it to work um, probably not anytime next year because I'm gonna be going away I'm not gonna be working so I don't have any money to, to do anything but I plan to get a new carburetor for it because this one as I've mentioned before or maybe I haven't the mixture screw screw is stripped out but it's still threaded in there and it's still working so I haven't touched it um, I went to take it apart to have it cleaned out a couple years ago and then when I went to go put the screw back in for some reason it wouldn't go in all the way and then when I tried to uh, to make it go in the threads kind of stripped out so it's kind of stuck that way and I have to keep it on partial or most choke to keep it running um, my little repair here has worked for me but the but it's not perfect because the, the cable likes to slip um, and so I'd like to get a new manifold as well and I want to get new rings for this too because it smokes it likes to burn oil oh and a new ignition coil because uh, depending on what I'm, if I'm revving it up, the both cylinder, the cylinders don't both fire it when it's revving up, but when it does get up to, to uh, operation, up to speed, and yeah, it starts firing on both cylinders again. Although it could be due to a lack of compression in one of the cylinders as well. That one's the bad cylinder. Because I know I did a test on this when I first got this going. I pulled the plug on that while it was running and this cylinder fired fine. When I did it to this side, it stopped. So I think that side lacks compression. However, this is the side that's burning oil because I think it's the... Actually, no, that's the side that... Yeah, that's the higher cylinder. The higher cylinder, but it's still getting oil in it. So I think the rings are done. And I think that's why it lacks compression on that side. So... I'm going to be changing out the rings, I'm going to clean out the inside of the engine really good and eventually give this a new paint job as well. Um, i got to redo my paint on the seat as well. I kind of had a little bit of fun and sanded this and I compounded it and it looks goofy but it's just what a, a lot of elbow grease can do even if it doesn't look good. Whatever. I'm going to end up covering this seat anyway. I'm not even going to try reupholstering it. That's about all that, uh, that's about all I have to say about it. I'm anxious to see how the plow works this winter. I've been waiting for it. It's just the, near the end of November now, just before Thanksgiving, so no snow until probably either the end of December or Maybe later on into January. Put some of this stuff in it. This was what what was left in the trunk of the Honda Accord we have, and we already did an oil change on it not too long ago, and we'll get to do one again soon. But this has just been sitting around, so I'm gonna be putting this stuff in it. I like the detergent um, or the uh, cleansing agents, and they've done pretty well in my Honda there. I, ch I just recently changed the oil in that again with the same cord I had. And it looks like we're done here. So, the next take will be of starting it back up. Okay, got that pretty much filled up. These take one and a half quarts, and I let it settle down in there a little bit, and actually I had to add a little bit more of it, um, if I can get it to focus. Yeah. 
it's actually right at the you can't see it on camera but it's right at the full mark actually or just below it um, but anyway it's all filled up our job is done I just gotta get the pan out from under there and we'll start it up Love this thing. It has come a long way, but it's still got a long ways to go before I'm satisfied with it. I'd love to do the, the uh, steering system upgrade in it from the uh, newer LT1000, the one they have. It would probably fit this if I did a little bit of drilling and tapping into the frame. It's a uh, different steering gear, which means you take less effort to turn these wheels, which this one kind of needs because the engine that sits over it's got well over 100 pounds sitting on the front wheels just from the engine. So, yeah. And I guess we'll cover up for now. I'll take the battery out and charge it. And I guess the next video I do of it will be when it's being put to work this winter yes I finally get to do that and I'm looking forward to that for once I spent the past three years or maybe two years wishing I could use this thing all year round and I've only I've just had to cover it up and wait till the grass starts growing which still needs a lot of work, but at least the yard looks better than it did earlier this year. <laughs> I'm hoping to eventually have a nice tall fescue lawn here to cut. But one step at a time, I suppose. I gotta get my certifications, get my career started. When I start making some good money, I'll be able to do stuff more regularly. So yeah, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more stuff.